Lego Ninjago started in 2011 with the pilot season and the sets based on that season. It is now in its 11th season and is still going on. There have been a lot of sets based off the TV show and even a movie which has sets also. In this video, I will be going over my favorite Ninjago set of each wave. The first wave was in 2011 and was based on the pilot season, which was two episodes before the first full season in 2012. My favorite set from the pilot season is probably the Fire Temple. The temple looks cool and the dragon isn't the best, but still looks okay. It also comes with Samokai, which is a really good minifigure. But a lot of other sets are good and I like a lot of them, like the Skull Truck, Garmadon's Dark Fortress, and even the Blacksmith Shop which a lot of people don't like, but I like, and it is the only pilot season set I own. The second wave was in 2012, which is season one of the show. My favorite set is probably the Ultrasonic Raider, which is cool in the show and is a unique vehicle. It has all four of the ninja and has Pythor. All of the ninja can fit in the vehicle in the show, but I'm not sure about the actual set. Other sets I like in the wave are the Destiny's Bounty, which isn't the best, but there are better and newer versions of it. And I also think the, Pang, the Fangpire Wrecking Ball looks cool. The third wave was in 2013, which is season 2 of the show, and was supposed to be the last wave. The show was supposed to end here, but people liked it so much that they brought it back. I don't really like any of the sets in this wave, and there were not many sets in the wave. But I guess my favorite set is the Golden Dragon. It looks cool and has good minifigures. The Temple of Light is alright, but the temple looks incomplete and the mech looks good. The fourth wave in 2014 is Season 3 called Rebooted, which has a lot of cool sets. My favorite is the Ninja Charger. It is a really cool vehicle and just looks nice. This is probably my favorite Ninjago wave. I like a lot of the sets in this wave, like the Ninja Copter and Kai Fighter are both really cool also, and I don't really hate any of the sets in this wave. The fifth wave in 2015 is Season 4, called the Tournament of Elements, which is my favorite season of the show. My favorite set is the Boulder Blaster. I don't have this set yet, but I really want it and will eventually get it. It has good play features, and I like how it looks. I also think it was cool in the show. Other sets I like from this wave are Lava Falls, which is a really good small set, Titanium Dragon, which is a really great dragon, and Dojo Showdown, which has two of the Elemental Masters. The sixth wave in 2015 is Season 5, which is Possession, which had the Temple of Air Jitsu, which I'm not counting for this because it is probably the best Ninjago set overall in my opinion. So my favorite set would have, I would have to say, is Master Wu Dragon, which is one of my favorite Ninjago Dragons. The other sets I like are the Final Flight of the Destiny's Bounty and City of Sticks, but the Attack of the Moro Dragon is also a cool dragon. The seventh wave in 2016 is Season 6, which is Skybound, and my favorite set is the Lighthouse Siege which was technically released with the Day of the Departed Wave, but it is a Skybound set, so I'm counting it with that. It has good play features and cool minifigures. Other sets I like from this wave are the NRG Dragon and the Raid Zeppelin, which is a good $30 set. The eighth wave was in 2016 and is Day of the Departed, which was not a season, but was a special. My favorite set is the Samurai X Cave Chaos, which didn't actually appear in the special, but is a really good set. I also think the Ultra Stealth Raider looks cool, but the other sets in the wave I don't like that much. The ninth wave was in 2017 and is Hands of Time. My favorite set is Dragon's Forge. It has a cool forge building and a great fusion dragon with good play features. It also has Kai and Nia's parents, which are exclusive to this set. Other sets I like from this wave are Vermilion Attack, which is a good cheap set, and the Samurai VXL. Next is the Lego Ninjago movie wave, which are based off of the movie and not the show. My favorite set is the Destiny's Bounty, which is the only set from this wave I own. 
It has all of the ninja and is the best Destiny's Bounty set we have gotten. Other sets I like are the Master Falls and the Ice Tank. The first wave of 2018 is the Sons of Garmadon wave, and my favorite set is the Temple of Resurrection, which is the only set I like from this wave. The rest of the sets from this wave are not that good in my opinion, and I don't own any of them. In the second half of 2018, we got the Hunted Wave. My favorite set in this wave is the Dragon Pit. It has a good build and a small rock dragon, which I really like. Other sets I like are the Diesel Knot, which has a cool design, and the Firstborn, which is a really good dragon, and I also like the helicopter that is in that set. The first wave from 2019 is the Legacy Wave, which takes old sets and updates the designs. A lot of these sets are good, but my favorite is Cole's Earth Driller. It is so much better than the one from 2013 and has a giant stone army warrior figure. Other sets I like are the Monastery of Spenjitsu, which is really good, and all of the other sets are great as well. The last wave we have so far is Season 11, which is called Secrets of the Forbidden Spenjitsu. My favorite set is probably the Shurikopter. It looks good and has cool play features and reminds me of the Ninja Copter set from 2014, which I also really like. The Castle of the Forsaken Emperor set is also a set I really like. It has a cool dragon and the castle is cool too, but I like the Shuri Copter more. So that was my favorite Ninjago set from every wave. There are a lot of good Ninjago sets and I can't wait to see what is next. Let me know what your favorite Ninjago sets are in the comments.